Thing. Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! The French car maker, which owns Peugeot and Citroën, is reported to have reached an agreement to buy Vauxhall from General Motors. Talk of a deal has raised concerns about the future of Vauxhall's two UK factories at Luton and Ellesmere Port, which employ more than 4,000 people. An official announcement is expected on Monday. Our business correspondent, Joe Lynham, reports. This Vauxhall plant is one of the more efficient car making factories in the world. 66% of the vehicles made here are exported, mostly to Europe. But the workers here may have new bosses from Monday, when it's likely that the company which makes Peugeot cars, PSA, confirms that it's bought Vauxhall and Opel. But with too many factories in Europe and not enough demand, PSA is likely to have a long, hard look at which plants to keep open. And that puts Vauxhall under the microscope. Vauxhall employs just under 2,000 staff in its Ellesmere port plant, which makes Astra's. The whole area, the whole plant's really worried, you know, because it's going to affect a lot of jobs, you know, in the area, in Ellesmere port. There's nothing here, is there? You know, if Vauxhall's go, there's yeah. nothing, is there? Bad, really bad, mate. Its van-making factory in Luton employs 1,400 people. I'm optimistic about the future of this plant here in Luton. Uh, but really, the prospects of car manufacturing in the UK will come down to the kind of deal we get out of Brexit. In all, Vauxhall makes just under 200,000 cars a year. PSA has capacity to build more cars in its own plants. It doesn't need these plants in Britain. And, and of course, there are obstacles in the way with the currency fluctuations, the problem, problems posed by Brexit with freedom of movement, freedom of, of movement of parts as well. The government says that it is cautiously optimistic that it will be able to limit the job losses as a result of this deal, possibly by providing the kind of assurances that it gave to Nissan in Sunderland. We don't know what those assurances are for sure, but there are quite a few British-based carmakers that will be watching very carefully. Only this week, Nissan said it now needs £100 million to support car manufacturing in the northeast. BMW said it might make battery-powered minis in Germany instead of Britain. And Ford looks like it could be shedding more than a thousand jobs in Wales. So the pressure will mount on Theresa May to support the automotive sector at the very time she will be in intensive talks with the EU over Brexit. Joe Lynham, BBC News in Luton. I've been